everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with slime that looks like food. <laughs> you guys may remember I have done a similar video where this same company made hot fudge, marshmallow, icing, and peanut butter slime. Now we have mustard, ketchup, guacamole, and grape jelly. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked to get these open, so let's get started. We're going to look at the grape jelly. Remember guys, this is not actually food. This is just slime that happens to look like food or it's themed after food. So grape jelly slime scented, looks and feels real. There's a not do not eat warning right there. And then let's open it up. And again, these are always opened. There's just no way to avoid it, I guess. So let's Get this slime out. Now this slime, when I originally bought it with the hot fudge and the marshmallow and all of that stuff, it was not, it felt all the same. So I definitely thought, you know, with it being like marshmallow, it'd be fluffy or with icing, it'd be a little fluffy, but it wasn't. It was all kind of like the barrel slime consistency. So this one is a little bit like the barrel slime. However, it's a little more sticky. Let's see, you can't poke it. So it definitely is the barrel slime consistency <laughs> but we have this purple grape jelly I almost said jam and I said jam and jelly at the same time purple grape jelly look to it like it's the perfect color guys like look at that this is grape jelly if I've ever seen it <laughs> this is crazy and it smells so good you guys so let me smell yeah it's like it's like grape shampoo if that's a thing I don't even know if that's a thing but it's definitely like it has a fresh shampoo-y smell to it, but also grape, and I like it a lot. However, I am always a little disappointed when they just have the barrel slime consistency. There's not one in that. It looks like I have some some slime all over me. It's not, the, the slime is not coloring my hands. I just have the slime on me. So I'm gonna put that back in here. Let's put it in here, maybe it'll go in there. You know what? We're just gonna set it back there and it's gonna go in on its own terms. Let's open up the guacamole. Okay, this one's new. <laughs> I didn't have to open this one. Or I mean, I didn't have to, or I will have to open this one. <laughs> All right, so we have the guacamole. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what this is going to smell like. Um, okay, let's smell it first. Oh, oh. I, I just, it's like, again, that like shampoo-y scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It looks like my hands are purple from the grape slime. I don't know if that actually dyed my hands purple or what, but it does have a weird smell. Oh, okay. And it's like a different consistency. Let's see if I can get this out of here. So this, this is weird. I was thinking maybe it was pokey slime, but it's not. It's like a thicker, oh, okay. It's like this. It's, it's, it stretches nicely. It's like barrel meets stretching. <laughs> if that's a thing. That's pretty cool. I really like this one a lot. It feels nice. I like this one. Again, not pokey, not really anything special, but it's pretty cool. And it smells interesting. It's not bad. It doesn't. It's not like off-putting. It's kind of like apple pie, a little bit. I would have to say it's like close to smelling like apple pie shampoo, if that's a thing. And then let's open up the ketchup. This one's brand new too. I like looked through all of them to find a grape jam that wasn't like open, but uh, they were all open, so I assumed everybody was open, but these ones aren't. <laughs> okay, let's smell this. This looks like ketchup, oh my gosh. Ew. Ew, oh my gosh, it does smell like it. Oh, okay, this one is way more sticky. I'm a little afraid to take it out. Oh my gosh, oh man. Oh, oh no. Oh man, this one's definitely way stickier. Definitely has the barrel slime consistency as well. Ooh, I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> This one's cool, like, cause it looks like ketchup, like, look at it, it looks like ketchup, but like, it is super sticky. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but, mm, I don't know, man. I, I might have to put this one away. It's just too much. It's too much right now. Let's just set that in there, and 
it's not even gonna go in there. We'll have to like gradually put it in here. But yeah, it's definitely way too sticky. I mean, there's a chance that I might just have to work with it. I'm not sure. But let's just put it back in there for now so we can take a look at the mustard. I might have to go wash my hands. Well, let's put this back there. We're gonna close this one up. <laughs> and let's open up the mustard. I'm a little nervous that it's gonna be the same consistency as the ketchup, considering they're both like condiments. But let's see. Okay, this one seems thicker. I think these are just like weirdly set. They weren't set properly. I don't know. Let's see. This one has the guacamole texture. Definitely has the guacamole texture. Less sticky, I appreciate that. Oh man. I like the color of this one. It all looks good, I like it. This one definitely, definitely is the same as the guacamole one. And it's a little, yeah, it's about the same stretchiness here. Again, not pokey, none of these can be poked. I mean, they're kind of just there. <laughs> But I think out of all of them, this one, well, the guacamole I think was the best one and the ketchup was the worst one for texture anyway. Oh, I gotta smell this one. All right, let's smell it. Oh, yeah, this, this is weird. So they all have that weird shampoo-y, perfume-y scent, but they also have the scent that they're supposed to be on top of it. So this smells so weird. But it's definitely, definitely along the mustardy lines. Click the card on the screen to watch more videos like this one. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.